Maintain, how to maintain your weight loss for life and you have to make it your forever lifestyle. That's why I keep saying and drilling it in. What you do to lose it, you gotta do to keep it off. Monday through Friday. I use Saturdays as a cheat day. What I do is I use Saturday night as a cheat night. If you saw me out to dinner on a Saturday night, I eat like a lumberjack. But boy, oh boy, come Sunday morning, that's the end of the carbohydrates, the end. My husband, well, you wanna go get pancakes for breakfast? I'm like, what are you, nuts? No, I'll have an omelet, bacon, sausage, whatever, but nothing carbohydrate-y. This is how I eat hamburgers now. First of all, let me go back up a second, I'm sorry. You have to make it your forever lifestyle and you have to pick the diet that's worked the best for you over your lifetime and go on it as soon as possible. If you were Weight Watchers and you lost weight on Weight Watchers and you're golden with Weight Watchers, let's go on Weight Watchers. I will help you. When I give my, my classes, I've had anywhere from 20 to 55 people. I was teaching at Elgin Community College and different places around. And just because I did it on low carb doesn't mean you have to do it on low carb. And you might not believe in low carb, whatever. You like Weight Watchers, you go on Weight Watchers. But here's what always, always happened. Half, half, half the class would go low carb because they wanted the same results that I got. And the other half would do Jenny Craig or whatever, or Weight Watchers or whatever other diets are out there, counting calories, low, whatever. Come the halfway point, come the fourth week weigh-in, because every week we would have weigh-in and I wouldn't say, oh, Joyce, lost, Joyce now weighs, you know, I would say, oh, Joyce lost three pounds this week. And Pat lost five pounds this week. And Sandy lost a quarter pound this week, Sandy. Want to talk about it? And whoever, and we had men in the class too, and whoever w lost the most weight for that week would be the tiara queen, but then we had guys in the class who were passing up the girls, so we made them wear the tiara to get their picture taken. So we had the tiara queens and the tiara kings. So I try and make things fun, and I'm very outspoken, and I'm very tough love, and I'm in your face. Uh, uh, one of the um, public health directors for a, a northern suburb uh, said to me, uh, you really, you literally leap off of every page of your book. And I said, that was my intention. And I'll have people say, write to me and go, I know you wrote that book about me. Or my friends, if I write an article and they'll go, I know you wrote that article about me. And it is, it's about all of us. It's about everybody.